So, um, but first off, we have a super chat. Best book on Dionysus. Oh, gotta go to the supers and thank you for the super chat, Yakuv. Um, I got the answer to that question. Yeah, you would have a better answer on Dionysus than I would. So the original, if you want to go back to the ancients, uh, Euripides Bacchae is the one. That's the play that was preserved. But in the 5th century of the Common Era, a man named Nonus of Panopolis wrote in even more grand and larger tales called the Dionysica. This is the this is like taking Euripides Bacchae and blowing it up into it. Look how big it is. And by the way, this particular uh, version has 48 translators working on this. Wow. Mary Beard's Religions oh. of Rome. Hands down. I didn't even have to think about this. She's one. a beast. Well, it was going to be between um, between Alexander to Actium. That was another one. That's a big, chunky book about the world, the Mediterranean world between Alexander the Great and up until the time of Augustus. But I wanted to go with the religious text, and this is my favorite. It's like 90% of the sources I use for my videos is probably from something in here. And she just... Wow. Is, this is if you if you if you're like a big fan of ancient religions, you have to have this. Just you have to. Oh man, there's no way around it. It's it's. I, and by the way, I she is huge, and what I mean is like big name, popular documentaries. Um, they're obviously um, only having her on, judging her by cup size, but you know, <laughs> you know, obviously. Um, no, she I actually. Really she really helped me. He's never going to live that down. Like, he's, the rest of his career is fucked. No, these, yeah, yeah. these really helped me in my deconversion. Not, not that they're, like, counter-apologetic books, but they demonstrate that all these religions that these Romans are taking part of are very... The way religion is done, there's only certain things that religious people do. There's so much overlap between all these religions. And this book, these books really show that. They that, really do. They really oh, do. You're touching something so important, Neil. I mean, we're, we're dealing with the same, and Kara Cooney says it, we're dealing with the same elements, the same material substance for which all these religions are coming out of. To pretend that one is unique and all the others are not, like they're all unique. If you want to be, mm -hmm. if you want to be the glass half full and act like one special, they're all special. Yeah. Like, or they're all not. Okay. So what, however you want to look at it, but not one over all of the others. Right. So there's like, it, one might get favored by certain groups and whatever. It might adapt and change better. It might have something better about it in a political situation, whatever. But like, I love what Mary Beard does there as you're describing. And I emailed her and I told you I was going to try and get her for the show. So that you and me, Neil could interview her. Uh, yeah. She's too big. She's too big. She told she's me, she's great. like, yeah. I don't do interviews anymore. Yeah. She's like a documentary scholar. Like this is big TV and good for her. Maybe good one day. I'm not gonna give up hey, on one day. Hey, well, boys, we let's let's let, documentary. Are you, are you kidding me? Like I've got a you know we got backgrounds and we 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 can do this. Let's make a documentary. <laughs> Why don't we make a documentary? We right. It just I can actually bring something. I can bring something to the table with that at least. I can I can bring in the editing, the the, the, the post production, the production. Like hey, that's should. my expertise. Yeah, yeah. We got a lot of scholars that we can do little snippets of, like get their mm -hmm. takes, get their like cut to them sit talking about their their thing that they had their PhD on, and like you could put together a nice piece with the yeah you know. I think. I think so too. Absolutely. So what Neil's getting the next book? Oh, um, yeah, oh, Neil. That's, that's yeah. Neil. Okay, so the next one is this Earl is early church writing, right? This one, yeah. no doubt, is my favorite. And You're spurt, Eusebius. Let me guess, spurt, Eusebius. No, no, I, that was. I was thinking about going with okay, Eusebius, okay. with the uh, not the church history book, with the uh, the leading up to the, the preparation for the gospel because it's so deep in the, what Eusebius thinks of Christianity. But I actually went with this Hippolytus oh. refutation of all. Oh. And this, where have I heard that from before? I, I brought it up in the last time I went live with you. Actually. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In this text. Hippolytus is refuting all the Christian heresies of all these, you know, Nassines and Carpocratians and Simonians and all these different Sethians, Valentinians, and he's describing them all and he's trying to refute them. 
but I can't help it. The more he talks to them, the more I like them. So he actually <laughs> actually backfired on this guy. He tried to make you. He's trying to refute these Christians. So he's making me like them. The more I read about them, that's why this is such a good book. Damn, he's, he's refuting all the heresies, but really he's making someone like me. I, I guess maybe people back then didn't thought he was. Uh, you know, uh, you know, he maybe they thought his arguments were convincing, but I'm like, who are these Christians? They're, they seem pretty cool. Why can't we have Christians like that today? You are the man with that. This is you are the man. part of the one of the questions for later on, but I'm not sincere asking for it. This is my go to the James Charles Worth uh, pseudopigrapha Old Testament text right here. It's got everything. It's everything's in here. It's Old Testament. But right. there is there is a lot of um, there is a lot of Christian era texts too. So there's like the the Jewish Orphic stuff. There's the pseudo Philo stuff. A lot of stuff like so. It's it's a lot of little bit of everything in here. A lot of Greek, a lot of Hebrew stuff like that. All, obviously translated to English, but like it's got all the commentaries on the bottom from the from the from the scholars. A lot of people worked on this. You know, that's is phenomenal. that in your is that in your book list? Uh... It's a, it's it actually your your I think it's your last question. No, 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 not your okay. last. Question. Oh no, it's the next question. Next, two questions from now. But it was the Bible books one. I picked Genesis, but we'll get to that later. But yeah, it's in the list.